So Nintendo has one big game remaining for the rest of the year, and it's Super Mario Bros. Wonder. And uh, yeah, there's basically a staged embargo rolling out at the moment, and we're currently in the preview phase, which means that we can talk about the game. I mean, we have um, played the game. We can talk about it, but we can't really talk about everything. <laughs> there's certain provisos right. in place. Uh, John, you've been playing the game. We got some footage here from Tom, who actually went to a preview event in uh, right. uh, in London with Nintendo. Um what can you actually actually tell us about the game, and well, what what can we discuss at this point? Yeah, the, it's there's a lot of limits on this, but there's definitely things we can discuss. And one of the first things I want to talk about is the game feel itself, and the way it plays, and the structure of the levels based on those early levels. Anyway, uh, so just to just to be clear. I don't really care for the new Super Mario Brothers games. I never really liked them. I don't think they look or sound very good. The level design was okay, but like the way it okay. controls, I'm not a fan. And that's uh, you know that that series always bummed me out because 2D classic 2D Mario games are some of my favorites of all time, right? So, so what Mario was wrong World. with it specifically? So first of all, the the controls themselves, Mario has this very heavy feel to it, more like Super Mario Brothers one, but. Oh, it feels like you're moving a heavy, weighty 3D character around inside of a 2D size scrolling stage. Oh boy! On top of that, they co they commit the sin of bad music. I think all the soundtracks are terrible, <laughs> and that's really that's really important for a platform game. I actually think that's one of the key pillars of any platform game. You need good a really good soundtrack, and if you don't have that, uh, it's automatically going to make the experience worse. Right. I yeah. also don't like the visuals. I think they're mostly rather uninspired looking. It's like got that generic mid 2000s kind of rendered look of Mario. It's very safe, very uninteresting. Uh, it feels very Wii U DS era, but not in a good way. And I just, I, I, I don't like the way that. it looks and moves. It's just, it's, it's not a bad game. They're clearly well made platform games, but they never did anything for me personally. And I never felt any real attachment to it. So you load up Super Mario Wonder, and right from the first stage, some things jump out. First of all, it's it's beautiful. I think the new the new visual design has a lot of major improvements to it. The parallax backgrounds are gorgeous, like these deep, super rich parallax. So many different layers coming together, almost kind of like Mega Drive esque, but you know, obviously much more modern in terms of the detail on those backgrounds, the color usage, the style, everything's great. Then there's the characters themselves, which they are probably 3D models from what I can tell, but they're, they seem to use decimated animation in such a way that not every movement has like a full interpolated uh, difference between one frame to the next. So they actually kind of move like a sprite, which is really interesting because that also ties into the controls themselves, which I feel are significantly more snappy than the new Super Mario Brothers games, and it actually feels much more like I expect, like, say, Super Mario World, where you just, you can turn on a dime, everything feels super quick. Uh, there's none of that weightiness when turning left and right. It's just, like, instant. It just feels great to move around. Uh, and then, of course, the other pillar is just the music. Like, right from that first level, there's some really great music in this game. It sounds awesome. It sets the mood. It feels like they're exploring new musical genres at points doing some fun new ideas and they've even reworked a lot of the sound effects just to sound fresh like the like collecting things and the fireball sound effect and all the things that you're used to hearing from mario they're all new and really good uh which is cool like it's it does mm -hmm. sound great so my first impression just walking from that was like wow this is this place great but then you get more into the level design and, and then the brilliance really starts to come out because I don't know how much I could say about the Wonder Seed stuff, but I will say that it just opens up these interesting level design gimmicks and concepts. Some of them are so interesting that they could almost stand alone as their own game, I would say. Oh, that's good. Right? Like, if, if you release... Like, I could see, like, an indie dev looking at this, like, oh, man, that's a great idea, and try to do something... It's it's good enough where you could use just one idea from one stage to fill out an entire game, if done right. So there, there is some serious creativity on here that I felt was always lacking in the new Super Mario Brothers games. Mm -hmm. uh, not a hundred percent. There were some cool ideas in those two, but this just is much more interesting in that regard. So, yeah, uh, I, you know, I can't speak to the whole game, obviously, but based on the preview stuff that that we've played, 
I would say this has the potential to be the best 2D Mario game since Super Mario World or Yoshi's Island. Wow. I would say. That's which, a long um, time ago. <laughs> which I thought was, I actually thought about it. It's like, wait, if I, if I go with Super Mario World, that would mean that, that, that from that game to this one, my two favorite 2D Mario games are like bookended. They bookend Charles Martinet's career because he was not in Super Mario World or Yoshi's Island, obviously, and he's not in this one. But he was in everything in between. That's incredible. <laughs> so, uh, kind of a weird coincidence there. I love what Charles did though with Mario, and he was great in the 3D games. So is Charles not but, in yeah, this the... most recent entry then? The, mo- the last no, entry? No, he, 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 he basically retired from doing the voice. Okay. He's just like a Mario amb- ambassador now. And <laughs> there's I've seen sleuthing going <laughs> the on, UN. people trying to figure out who the new voice is, and nobody knows yet. <laughs> from what I can tell. Uh, uh, all right. It's okay. Actually, the voice stuff is interesting because there's a lot of like different sound, like the sound signature is different. There's more of this like made up language stuff in there, which is fun. But then there's also just straight English. Like there's these flowers, like I guess the wonder flower or whatever that like talks to Mario. And it's kind of like, it's, it's weird. Like I, you come out of a pipe at one point and you just run to the left instead of the right. And the flower pops up and he's like, Hey, what are you doing coming over here? There's nothing over here kind of thing. You know, stuff like that. Just like little quips based on what you're doing in the game. And it adds a surprising amount of personality to it. And it feels, again, different from a typical Mario game. So, you know, I'm going to do a video on this next. There's a lot more to say, obviously, including about the visual stuff. Don't want to spoil all that yet. But, man, they freaking did it. This This is good. This is good Mario. Yeah, I just wanted to bring up a supporter question from Sergio Anes. Will Will Yol be covering Super Mario Wonder? I understand it may not be a technical showpiece for the Switch, but I love the art style and would love to see uh, comparisons with the other 2.5D Mario games. Thanks, gents! Exclamation point. Yeah, I think that's an interesting point, right? I mean, something which we're not going to be talking about here, but the, the nature of the visuals and their 2.5D-ness is actually... Possibly maybe one of the reasons why you might like this one when you didn't like the previous one, John. Yeah, Possibly. it it, yeah. Uh, it feels more 2D this time, <laughs> okay. I would say, in a good way. I know but what you mean, John. We're still trying to, to try to deduce what elements are 3D and what elements are not. It's actually hard to tell, which is a really good thing, I would say. Mm-hmm. That means that they pulled off the aesthetic extremely well. Uh, but it does largely, I would say it feels like a purely 2D game. Even if there's 3D elements in there, it feels like a 2D game mm-hmm. all the way through, yeah. which is awesome. Interesting. I guess this is uh, one of the last major Switch first party titles that at least we know about. Obviously, there's Metroid Prime 4 coming, uh, presumably next year. Presumably. Uh, is, is there anything else happening that on, on the uh, Switch 1 side, or is this kind of like possibly one of the last major hurrahs for the system? I that's a good question. I don't know off the top of my head, but this I mean this definitely seems like one of the last big hurrahs, if you will. Mm. Uh and I would say it's it's a big, great title to go out. And he says, even though it's not technically impressive, the supporter says, I would actually argue that this is one of the games that shows Nintendo's strength and just they pick a, a vision and they execute on that vision really well. Yeah. Uh within the constraints of the hardware. Like the Switch yeah. is pretty ancient at this point, but nobody's <laughs> going to look at this game and be like, "Oh, that's a bad-looking, outdated game." No, never. Right? <laughs> like they just they they nailed the style they went for. It looks great. It runs smooth. Like one well, that's that's what you need. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it is quite remarkable at this point that well, the Tekra X One came out in 2015 in the Shield Android TV. Uh, it's now eight years old, you know, and it was not. When it came out on the Switch, it wasn't the state-of-the-art mobile processor by that point. So, yes, I mean, that's that's quite remarkable when you think about it. And it does speak to just the concept of completely addressing one specific system and deploying some fantastic, you know, artists, artists. and, wow. yeah, just amazing stuff. Uh, wonderful, one might even say. Yes. But, yeah, um, we can assure Sergio that we will be looking at this one. And um, I guess it's basically, you're going to be looking at this one, John? Yeah, I'm looking at this one, and then after that, I want to do a Sonic video. So we're going to do double the platforming goodness in October. 